about the song, but just to tell him, Lord, we are grateful. Lord, we are so much grateful for what you have done, for what you are doing, for what you are going to do. We bless your name, Jesus.
the Lord, somebody. Magnify the Lord. Let the Lord receive the glory today. He's worthy of our worship. Lord, we give you the glory. Lord, we give you the praise of our King. We magnify you, Jesus. Oh, Shadow, Ragnar, Ramosa. Give him glory. Give him glory. Give him praise. He's worthy to be exalted. He's the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. He's the great God in battle. Faithful to lead us. 
Shukuru, 
Santa kwa sababu ametenda nazo sifa na utukufu zimrudie yeye thank you the praise and worship for that powerful powerful worship and praise may god bless you takuchukua nafasi hii kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi ya kuwako mahali hapa na kuendelea katika prayer sivi hizi pia nashukuru uh, our director apostle john kimani william kwa sababu ya kutupatia nafasi hii May the Lord bless him together with our mom, Reverend Naomi. May the Lord bless our director, Apostle, and our mom, Reverend Naomi, for this wonderful time that you have given us to gather in this temple. May glory and honor be unto the Lord. Let's appreciate them in our presentation. Amen. Asante pia kwa wote ambao muna tupata na walika katika mitandao yote Apostle John Kimani William. Karibuni sana kwa Facebook, kwa YouTube. Radio yetu ya, ya MBCI, TV yetu ya MBCI, mitandao yote ya kijamii karibuni sana na Bwana aweze kuwabariki sana. Na pia nashukuru Mungu kwa senior pastors ambao tuko nao, tuko na senior pastor Mbogwa, senior pastor Wahome, senior pastor Ruth, and our pastor, we are together with them. May the Lord continue to bless you. Thank you for good work. Asantini tunaweza keti Bwana atubariki. Uh, tunajua kwamba uh, ni wiki ya ajabu ambapo ni ya kuomba ya kwamba Mungu restore the original purpose. And I believe that ya kwamba as we come to the end of this week and the powerful time of Kesha ambapo utakuwa na wakati mrefu wa kuweza kujiwachilia na kuomba na kuamini ya kwamba Mungu ata restore katika maisha ya mtu, katika inchi yetu, katika ministry ya mtu na kile ambacho Mungu amekuitia kufanya that ya kwamba utaweza ku, kurejeshwa pale ile kusudi aliyekuwa nayo kwa sababu Mungu alikuwa na kusudi hakuna mtu aliye bure katika dunia hii hata wale wanalala chini wanajikojolea barabarani hakuna mtu tawala wako uchi makaburini wote Mungu alikuwa na kusudi nile tu kuomba ya kwamba oh god restore the original purpose that you had with my life kwa sababu akirejesha mambo yote inaingiana nataka <coughs> kuendelea na pale ambapo senior pastor uh, Mbogwa alituachia uh, kuhusu repentance and uh, want to continue from there na nataka kusema ya kwamba even as we pray uh, and thank God kwa skili ambacho wamefanya na tunapoendelea kuomba katika wakati huu ni vizuri kujua kwamba uh, kuna vitu ambavyo vilisababisha maisha yangu ya ribike na Mungu akose kuyatumia Yani kuna vitu kuna mambo na nitanena mambo kadhaa machache ambao inaweza sababisha the original plan ambao Mungu alikuwa nayo iweze kuharibika but repentance na ujumbe wangu na uita 
why repent why repent why take people to repentance kwa nini watu waingie katika toba eh that is hapo ndipo naita ujumbe wangu uh, maandiko yanasema katika jeremaya 18 mstari wa tisa kumbuka hapa ndipo mtume alianza anapo alipoanza na hiyo jeremaya 18 na mimi nitasoma hapo mstari wa tisa uh, inasema hivi and that's why we should repent uh, that is a topic of ambao nimeiweka uh, the instinct i speak concerning a nation and concerning a kingdom to build and to plant if it does evil in my sight so it so that it does not obey my voice then i will relent concerning the good with which i said i will benefit it therefore speak to the men of judah and to the inhabitants of jerusalem saying thou says the lord behold i am fashioning a disaster and i'm dis- i'm i'm devising a plan against you return everyone from his evil way and make your ways and you are doing goods sasa bwana anawaambia kwamba anaeleza watu hawa ya kwamba mji ambao nilisema utajengwa i'll build that concerning hata maisha mtu concerning hata dream and vision our destinies our marriages our life when mungu anasema kwamba nitajenga i'll build for you because tunajua kwamba nobody can ever build for himself the bible says a builder without god labors in vain anafanya kazi ya bure kwa hivyo mungu ndiye anajengaga na wakati alituumba mungu alikuwa na mpango ya kujenga maisha kila mmoja wetu lakini anasema hivi hata kama nilisema nitajenga marriage ya mtu nitajenga dream vision career destiny ya mtu kama mtu huyo atafanya dhambi basi nita relent kile ambacho nilikuwa nasema nitaweza kufanya na hapo na akasema basi waambia kwamba warudi waambia kwamba waweze kurudi wa return this is repentance mahali ambapo unaona kurudi katika biblia tunajua kwamba ni kuritan ni kurudi is repentance eh, going back to repentance ndio Mungu aweza kukutumia kama vile alivyotaka so one of the thing ambao inasababishaga tupoteze the original purpose ambao Mungu alikuwa anataka kufanya na sisi ni dhambi sin and I'll speak about sin and that's why we should repent kwa sababu sin inapopata nafasi katika maisha ya mtu ua ina destroy ile mpango Mungu alikuwa anataka kufanya na mtu huyo sin inabomoa vile ulikuwa umejengwa vile Mungu alikuwa amekuunda vile Mungu alikuwa amekupanga dhambi na kujaga na inabomoa it will destroy everything concerning you concerning your dream concerning your vision concerning god plans that ya kwamba Mungu hawezi kukutumia maana dhambi imekufunja funja na imekuharibu na imepangua mpaka mpango ambao Mungu alikuwa nayo kwa hivyo mtu hawezi kutumika and that's why tunaposema tuna repent ni kwa sababu tunajua kuna kitu ambacho kimeharibio katika maisha yetu kwa hivyo akaambia wa wandugu ya kwamba basi murudi you repent na mkirudi nitaweza kufanya na nyinyi kama vile ambavyo nilitaka kufanya and that's that, na hiyo ndio important ya repentance that ya kwamba nikiingia kwa toba Mungu kila alitaka kufanya na mimi ataweza kufanya na maisha yangu tuko na inchi tuliongozwa asubuhi na senior akasema ya kwamba kuna maneno mengi ambayo tulitoa kuna uchungu kuna mambo makali and, and a nation haiwezi kujengwa katika mambo hayo lazima kuwe na toba ndio tuweze kuanza na foundation mzuri tuweze kuanza na foundation mzuri as a nation eh so it's very important for us to enter into deep repentance kwa sababu vile ambavyo tulikuwako hata kama tumepata Mungu amefanya basi anaweza kosa kufanya vile alikuwa anataka zaidi kwa sababu watu bado wajaingia kwa toba and that's why repentance ni mzuri kwa sababu inatupatia uwezo wa Mungu kuweza kukutumia kwa hivyo uh, and i want to see how sin iliharibu mpango wa mtu mmoja ambao uh, tunamuita uh, eri when we read from first samuel 
chapter 2 and verse 30. Uh, we can go there quickly. And see that God had a good plan. He had a good plan. The original, the original purpose about Mungu alikuwa konayo with the house of Eri. Mungu alikuwa na mpango mzuri. Therefore, the Lord God of Israel says, I said indeed that in your house and the house of your father I would walk before me forever. But now the Lord says, far, far be it from me. For those who honor me, I will honor and those who despise me shall I be lightly esteemed. Now remember that Yakwamba, God is speaking concerning Exodus chapter 29 and verse 9. When God speaks of those words, he's referring the covenant they entered in Exodus 29 and verse 9. Ambapo, ambapo, yeah, we, 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 we can see. Then shall, then shall gear them with their seizures, Aaron and his son, and put heart on them, the priesthood shall be theirs for a, perpetu a perpetuate status. So you shall consecrate Aaron and his son. Which means that ya kwamba, the priesthood will be for them forever. Ukuhani utakuwa wao mirele. That was the original purpose ambao mungu alikuwa konayo na nyumba hii ya Aaron. Lakini tunaona eri sasa kwa sababu ya dhambi because of sin. Sin zimeingia na ile mpango Mungu ambao alikuwa ameweka a covenant that ya kwamba watatumika daima ukuhani utakuwa wao na hiyo ndio ilikuwa mpango wa Mungu na nyumba hiyo akasema ya kwamba na uwe mbali sasa na uwe mbali sasa kwa sababu dhambi imeingia na imeharibu eri na nyumba ya baba yao sasa Mungu hata watumia kama vile alivyotaka and you see sometimes in life kuna mambo Mungu anakuwaga amepanga. Even sometimes when we repent because of, our, of the sins of our father. Inakuwaga mzuri. Kwa sababu pengine kuna mpango ulikuwako katika nyumba ya baba yangu. Kama vile kulikuwa katika nyumba ya eri, Mungu alikuwa na mpango. Lakini kwa sababu ya dhambi ambazo ziko hapa sasa, Mungu anapangua. Watu hawa wangekuwa katika heshima. Watu ambao wangetembea mbele za Mungu daima. God says that you, your father's house shall walk before me forever. Au ni watu walikuwa wamepatiwa opportunity ya kuingia katika the presence of God. And remember in those days, si kama sisi, si kama sasa, a only priest was allowed, a high priest was allowed to enter into the holy of holy. Yeye peke yake, all the Israelites, is only the priest, alikuwa na access to the holy of holy. It's the highest privilege ambao mwanadamu alikuwa amepatiwa wakatiwa na Mungu. Kwa hivyo house of Heri being the high the higher priest they had a, a privilege ambao watu wengine wakuwa nayo that wangeingia to the holy of holy na waweze kufanyia watu petition. It was a it was a very uh, it was a higher privilege. Na Mungu anasema sasa Heri that hivyo ndivyo nilikuwa nataka muweze kukua wewe na nyumba ya baba yako. Lakini sasa kwa sababu dhambi zimeingia na iwe mbali mpango ambao nilikuwa nayo. And there are things ambazo zitafanyika kanyumba, katika nyumba ya Eri. You see that ya kwamba the things ambazo zitakuwa ako. Mungu wakasema, I'll cut off your hand. Nitakata mkono wako. That represent <coughs> zile the power ambao hiyo nyumba ilikuwa nayo. That Eri now, I'll cut off the hand of your father's house. Nini ambao mulikuwa na nguvu, mulikuwa na uweza wakutuwa dhabihu, wakufanya mambo makubwa, mukono huo wenyu, nitaweza ku cut off. Sio hapo peke yake. Mungu anasema ya kwamba, nitasababisha, wale nitasalisha katika nyumba ya eri, nitasababisha waweze kuishi kwa kuomba mkati. In other words, I'm going to reduce you to beggars. This is the house of eri. They will become beggars. They will survive by begging. So they will go to any priest to amwambia kwamba tuajiri katika sehemu moja ya ukuhani tuweze kupata mkati. And you can see how they have been reduced. People ambao walikuwa highly privileged. People ambao Mungu alitaka waende na utukufu huyo mkubwa sasa wamekuwa reduced to beggars. Watu wa kuomba omba. Uh, when you look that ndio unaona ya kwamba there are things we need also to repent. Even as a nation, kuna mambo unaweza angalia, unaingia kwa toba. 
kuna mambo ambayo tunajua kama vile tuliambiwa asubuhi yalikuwa kwa kwa social media media maneno uwezi atataja ambayo ilikuwa ina, inatupaniwa kule na watu wanabandikwa wana maneno hayo and you see words are very powerful words create words create so if you call a child a dog he becomes a dog na atafanya kazi ya umbo if you call him a fool he become a fool na anaendelea hivyo so i thank god for how we were led in the morning to cancel those things because tungeongozwa na wale watu ambao tulibandika majina na wangetuongoza kulingana na vile tuliwatangaza tuliwaweka majina but thank god for cancelling and even god leading in holy spirit leading in that direction ya kuweza ku cancel those things now we see now sasa nyumba ya iri sasa wamekuwa reduce wamepunguzwa misfortune zinaanza kuwafuata one of the things ninaangalia kwa nyumba ya eri if you if you go back to first samuel chapter 22 let us not read because of time but you can read verse 18 and 19 you see that ya kwamba the people ambao wangetembea na wakiwa nyanja za juu kwa sababu Mungu amewafanya makuhani and the king said to dog to dog to, to doig you turn and kill the priest so doig the uh, edom edomite turn and strike the priest and killed all and killed that that day 85 men who were Irwin Ephod Lina Ephod akaua 85 priest higher priest sasa Mungu ameanza ku reduce that house have you seen that your your life you have been reduced there are things that can pursue you and repentant can cancel them repentant is very important that ya kwamba if eri had repented watu kama hawa 85 hawangi achinjwa not only the 85 priest if you continue the scripture inasema the whole village the whole city of the priest children and women were sorted wote wakamalizwa nobody was spared na yule ambao alikuwa spared uh, katika second samuel 22 24 tunaona uh, Abitha ambao aliweza ku escape everyone okay there is first samuel 22 and 24 i also i was also i also i was also okay sorry okay stay with me stay with me don't fear for he who seek my life seek your life but with me you shall be saved there is a person ambao alibakia when the whole city ilikuwa sorted kwa wana wa eri they were all sorted kwa sababu mungu alisema ya kwamba nitamaliza nyumba yote ya eri and the only thing that eri needed to do a save watoto hawa a save wale makuhani wamechinjwa was only to offer repentance ambao ilimshinda ku offer repentance na ikamshinda hiyo peke yake na Mungu angemrejesha kama tu angeingia kwa toba hata sisi vile tunaingia kwa toba siku ya leo kuna mambo Mungu anarekebisha maana kuna watu waliingia kwa toba na Mungu akaweza kuwasaidia eri akakataa huyu ambao alisalia when you come to king first kings chapter 2 and verse 27 akaondolewa tena he was removed from the priesthood and that ikatimia kile mungu alisema they were all reduced to be beggars they were to survive by begging ikasema and solomon removed abida from being a priest to the lord that he might that he might fulfill the word of the lord which he spoke concerning the the house of eri at shilo sasa uh, yeah let's read it there This was the, the, fight, the surviving person. Uh, uh, Solomon amwambia kwamba you deserve to be killed. You deserve to be killed. But because you carried the ark of the covenant before my father. Tutakutoa tu kwa ukuhani uende nyumbani. And from there they were to survive by begging kwa kuomba. They were terminated. The services of priesthood zimeondolewa they were removed by god brethren now look the original plan ambao mungu alikuwa konayo 
and where every generation wanamalizia they are removed now completely from priesthood na wamefanywa watu wa kuomba if eri angeingia tu kwa toba ambie Mungu ya kwamba nisamehe Mungu angeweza kumrejesha another person quickly we can see that Mungu alikuwa na mpango mzuri na yeye ni Solomon Sol- uh, si Solomon ni, ni Samson Judges chapter 15 verse 12 Mungu alikuwa na mpango mzuri na yeye I need if he had a very good plan this man was to be a deliverer This man was to fight for the children of Israel. But he said to him, we have come down to arrest you that we may deliver you to the hands of the Philistine. Then Samson said to them, swear to me that you will not kill me, you not kill me yourself. Verse 14. When he Okay, uh, let's just reach there. Here yeah, we see now the children of Israel are going to to Samson mahali ambapo wamejificha. Wakamwambia tumekuja kukushika. We know that God gave you to be our deliverer. Wewe ndio ulikuwa mkombozi wetu. Wewe ndio ulikuwa tunatumainia. Wewe ndio ungekuwa mwokozi wa wana wa Israeli. Lakini sasa sababu yako sasa tumeishi maisha ya uchungu. In other words, uh, Samson, God had a good plan with you na wewe ndio ungekuwa mkombozi. Lakini sasa umefanya maisha yetu ikuwe bitter, ikuwe ya uchungu. So we have come to arrest you na tukufunge tukupatiane kwa Wafilisti. In other words, surrendering God's plan ambao alikuwa ako nao na Samson. In other words, Samson was sent to us as a, as a deliverer but because aliingia katika nyumba ya kina Delila na wengine akafanya dhambi kaingia sasa tunakufunga huduma zako hatutaki huduma zako hatutaki you know tying Samson tying, for them to tie Samson hands walikuwa na maanisha services zako na huduma zako hatutaki sasa we handle you to the Philistine to the Philistine May God help us brethren that you come but some of us we came with a divine assignment na wale watu Mungu alitaka tuwatumikie wanaona services zetu haziwapatii zinaweka uchungu badara ya kuleta msaada katika maisha yao wakasema wacha tukufunge na services zako tukuondoe sasa tumtugoje Mungu and God could not use Samson again Samson hapo sababu watu if it cannot fit the master it cannot also fit the use of the people and if it does not fit the use of the people then god cannot use it ikiwa mimi nimefika kiwango ambacho sababu ya dhambi siwezi kutumiwa kwa watu basi mungu hawezi kunitumia and that's how people are changed that's how destinies zinabadilika and kwa hivyo each and every one of us kama kuna kitu ya kuweza kupigana nayo ni dhambi katika maisha yetu. Dhambi ndi inatoa the original purpose ya maisha ya mtu. Tumeona eri. And as we finish with Samson as uh, we, we, with, with Samson tunaona ya kwamba anamalizia kusiaga ngano za wafilisti akiwa kipofu. That was not the original plan. God had original plan with Samson. And the original plan of Samson he was to be a deliverer a person ambao akisimama anakuta wa Israeli anawakomboa anawapigania anawashindania Mungu alitaka kumtumia akombeo wa, wa Israeli some of us we are deliverers kama vile tumefundishwa hapa mara mingi lakini kwa sababu the original purpose ime, imebadilishwa unakuta kwamba sasa unakuwa mtu wa kusumbua watu na wewe ndio Mungu alikuwa anatumainia that ya kwamba utaokoa wale watu na kataa Mungu atulejeshe wapendo. As we come to the end of this week, pray that ya kwamba God to restore you to that original purpose. Maybe I came to be a deliverer to my father's house. Maybe I was the first person ambao ningejengea watu wa nyumba ya ya baba yangu kuwajengea nyumba, kuweza kuwafanyia mambo makubwa. Mimi ndio ningejitegemea 
kuna mambo ali Mungu alitaka I was a solution kwa ile problem ambayo ilikuwa kwa, kwa nyumba ya baba yangu when they cried to God wakasema ya kwamba hear us our father akatuma mwando akasema okay i've heard your cry nimetuma mwando kama vile aliposikia kilio akatuma Musa kwa hivyo kwa nyumba ya baba yako ukazaliwa na umezaliwa kwa sababu Mungu anajibu maombi ambayo baba zako waliomba kwa muda You are the deliverer. You are the child that will bring a different. You are the person that will bring a change. You are the person who bring rafter in the house of your father. But because of sin, brethren, unakuta kwamba unakuwa mtu wa kusia gangano za wafristi. Tunakataa, but repentance can restore somebody. <laughs> repentance can restore us. That's how that's why when we say I, 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 I'm putting that that you can see the seriousness why somebody should pray for the original purpose of God. Mana kuna watu ningesaidia lakini sasa niko kwa ngano na sia gangano na na mimi ni kipofu hakuna mtu naweza saidia mai nimebadilishwa kile ambacho Mungu angelitaka niweze kufanya. Ana uh, Mungu atusaidia wapendwa. Number two Repentance restore the original plan the original purpose that God had with somebody or the thing can only be restored through repentance katika toba and uh, look at the prodigal son katika Luke 15 and verse 17 let me quote because of time and the universe tuweze kuwa na wakati wa kuomba so when you go read at your own time the prodigal son the bible says he came to his sense Alipo come to his sense akasema I'll go back to my father and say that I've repented and repent and tell him I've sinned against him and against God. Thank God kwa the prodigal alikuwa nakula eh I'll rise I will rise and go to my father and I'll say to him father I have sinned against heaven and before you. I'm no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. This was a prodigal son. The Bible says when he came to his sense, akasema, I'll go back to my father. And you see we read the scripture, inaosema ya kwamba, come back to me. So that ile mpango nilikuwa nao ya kuwajenga and to plant you. Iweza kusimama. Lakini wakakata. Wakasema tutafua tanjia zetu sisi wenyewe. Sasa Mungu akakosa kuwatumia vile alikuwa anataka. Lakini kama wangea tubu, alikuwa tiari aweza kuwarejesha na afanye nao kama vile alifanya. And prodigal son ni mfano mzuri. Alikuwa alipokuwa na kula na nguruwe na anafanya kazi ya, kutu, ya, kuchi, ya kuchunga nguruwe na kulisha nguruwe. That was not the original purpose that God had. It was not the original plan. Sio hiyo kusudi ilikuwa kwa Mungu alikuwa nayo na mwana mpotevu mwana mpotevu ni kwa sababu amefanya dhambi amefanya maasi eh? ni kwa sababu amekosa kusikia na akaingia katika shida na wakati wote watu wote walipomhurumia na wakamwangalia hawakujua hawangejua mpango ambao baba yake alikuwa nayo na mtoto yake na ile estate ambazo zinamgojea kule ambazo anaweza kuwa mkurugenzi mtu ambao ni wa kuajili watu yeye sio wa kutafuta watu wa kumsaidia yeye ndiye angetafutwa na watu aweze kuajili kazi lakini ametolewa kuwa muajiri akawekwa kuwa mtu wa kuomba weka mkati hapa sema eh, mkono hapa sema bwana naomba mahali ambapo nimekuwa reduce half mercy i repent today restore the original plan the original purpose you had with my life may god restore us brethren nobody knew that this young man who is suffering here who is looking for people to help him that ya kwamba he's a great man ambao anaweza kutafutwa kupeana favor lakini original plan imebadilishwa na ni kila mmoja and I want you to look at, at your life so that you see the seriousness of this week when we go to prayer as a as a as a the servant of God our direct apostle who be leading us I want you to go deeper when the kupigana na mambo fulani so that as we come to the end of, on Sunday when we have been commissioned that ya kwamba wewe utakuwa kama the prodigal son 
utarudi watu wa kuangalie wale waliokuwa na, wana, wanaona msaada pale walipomwangalia prodigal son hawangi amjua wasindwa nini imefanyika kwa sababu sasa ameruhusiwa amerudishwa katika mpango wake baba yake akasema lete pete avalishwe ambayo inamaanisha the power of antony sasa anaweza enda kwa bank au withdraw pesa za baba yake sasa anaweza kufanya kazi kupitia jina la baba yake original plan imerudishwa si Mungu apatie watu pete katika wiki hii aseme ya kwamba huyu amerudishwa mahali ambapo anapaswa kuwa huyu ni mtu ambao atapatia watu favor huyu ni mtu atafanya mambo makubwa is only a ring ambao alipatio to be given that authority ambayo ilikuwa imechukuliwa may the lord restore the authority upon our life aile alitupatia alisema i've given you power and authority si mungu aridhisha your authority when the plans of god are destroyed upon a person is the authority and power are removed ndio zinaondolewa na hiyo tu ndio hakuna kitu kubwa mwana mtakatifu alifanywa alirejeshio tu authority na wewe siku ya leo unapaswa tu urejeshio authority hiyo ambayo ilitoka ndio hiyo ndio eh, authority kirudi sasa utakuwa mahali ambapo Mungu alitaka ukue <coughs> and you see eh, so kwa hivyo repentance restore the original purpose and uh, another na watu wengine Mungu anaambia ni katika the church of Rodokia katika Revelation 3 from verse 17 to 21. You see God is telling this church about your urejesho. Can we read quickly? Because you say that I'm rich, I have become wealthy, I have need of nothing, and I and do not know that you are wretch, miserable, poor, blind and naked. I counsel you to buy from me gold refined in fire that you may be rich and white garment that you may be clothed
ni disaster hata sasa kwa taifa hili oh sini alisema tutajuta of course hatutajuta na kubaliana na yeye we can escape any disaster inaweza kuwa kule mbele kila mchoro ambao shetani amechora as we repent we escape from any disaster imepango and that's the repentance sasa nakutia kwamba wanasema kwamba kule mbele kuna mitego kuna vitu tumeweka na hizo vitu vyote ambavyo vimewekwa huko mbele kuna njia ya kutoroka kama kuna mambo ya kutuingiza kwa regret kama kuna mambo ya kutuingiza tuanze kwa kilio kama kuna mambo ya kutuingiza kwa utumwa Ewe, the only way ya kutorokea mambo hayo ambayo tujui imepango ni kuingia kwa toba repentance is so powerful even for families hata kwa marriages hata marriage yako ikipangio kule mbele kwa sababu shetani ni mwenye kupanga ye ni mwenye kupanga anafanyaga kama vile Mungu anafanyaga anajuaga Mungu ni wa kupanga na ye pia anaweza kupanga sasa Mungu anaambia watu hawa ninawapangia maovu I'm, i'm planning a disaster i'm planning for you a disaster there's something that is planned but anawaambia this disaster ambao nimepanga you can escape it by repentance kuna mnaweza ingia kwa toba na kila uovu nilikuwa nimeamua kufanya yani wala nilikuwa nasema wataridizio to zero wala nilisema kuna mahali watafika wala nilisema wataishi wakiwa maskini na wagonjwa yani hiyo ndio mpango nimechora lakini wakiingia kwa toba hiyo mpango nitawachana nayo au relent the evil that i wanted to do That is repentance. <coughs> kwa hivyo ujue kwamba kuna vile Mungu anakuwa amepanga sababu ya dhambi za mtu. So as your life continue, na umepangiwa maovu either by Mungu ama shetani kwa sababu <laughs> wote wanaweza panga, shetani anapangaga akiona Mungu akipanga. Si hapa Mungu anasema anapanga. So kwa hivyo repentance inakusababisha uweze ku escape in a disaster. And there are people we can see very quickly waliweza ku, ku, ku escape katika disaster. One of the person to know ni Jonah let's not read because of time but they write it down katika Jonah 2:7 tunaona kwamba Jonah escape a disaster ako kwa tumbo ya samaki destiny yake inaenda kusiago inaenda kuishia pale original purpose ambao Mungu alikuwa nayo that ya kwamba Jonah is a prophet ni wa kuwatabiria mji eh mji wa Ninawi yeye ni kuhani mkubwa nabii mkubwa anatabiria ninawi tamalizwa anaondolewa kutoka hapo anaingizwa kwa mtu aliyeko ndani ya tumbo ya samaki ambao destiny yake inaenda kusiago i see people but i know that wale wamewekwa kwa kisiagi destiny zao marriage zao career zao ministry zao ziko katika kisiagi cha shetani na ako tayari kuwasiaga they can escape that disaster by repentance and whatever evil has been planned upon your life repentance inaweza kukutoa jona maandiko inasema and jona anasema then i remembered the lord nikakumbuka bwana katika shida hizi nikamulilia my prayers i made my prayers na mungu akasikia aka command samaki iweze kunitapika aka escape disaster another person is a king of king of ninawi jona 36 to 10 The king of Ninawi akasikia the disaster ambayo imepango na kwamba mji utateketezwa watoto wa mama na kila kitu kinaenda kugandamizwa na aliposikia uovu na yale mambo imepango akapeleka watu wote kwa toba akasema tuingie kwa, kwa toba pengine hata kuwa shua kama sisi yeye alisema pengine Mungu huyu ataweza kuona akaweza kutusamehe We are sure that ya kwamba when we repent we are not like the king. Even I thank God for the king, but you are more than the king. You know more than the king that when you repent our God is merciful. Then we know that. So kwa hivyo sisi hatubahatishi. And the Bible says the disaster ambao Mungu alikuwa amepanga because of repenting we can escape the town ingeteketezwa moto na watoto na kila mtu ambao angemalizwa wakeepuka hatari hiyo kwa sababu waliingia kwa toba nasema wapendwa tutaingia kwa toba usijali usijali tumepata rais na we thank god for that for peace hata yule anasikia kama anashaka kidogo nitakuwa encourage kama senior tuna Mungu tuko kwa repentance tuta tuteepuka kila disaster 
na kila mchoro wa shetani tutaweza kuutoroka hata katika maisha yetu katika marriages zetu wale wanafikiria watavutwa kazi mtepuka tunaingia kwa repentant kwa niaba ya ndugu zetu dada zetu baba zetu wasipigwe kalamu waweze kuepuka kila mpango ambao umepango kuna mtu alisema nikiingia hapo nitawafuta wote niweke watu wangu. Tunasema leo tunatubu kwa niaba ya nchi yetu na wanandugu zetu wateepuka kila disaster ambayo imepango because of the virtue of repentance and the, uh, and the king katika uh, <laughs> akaweza kuepuka na the, the last person tunaweza ona aliepuka a disaster uh, uh, ni katika first kings chapter 1 uh, chapter 21 verse 27 to 29 tunaona a wicked man ambao anaitwa Ahab eh? so it was when ha, when Ahab heard those words that he tore his cloth and put sackcloth on his body and fasted and laid in sackcloth and went about mourning and then the word of the lord came to Elijah the Tashbite saying see how Ahab has humbled himself before me because he has humbled himself before me i will not bring the calamities in his days and in the days of his son will i bring the calamity on his house now sasa ahab kuna mambo mungu alikuwa amesema atafanya juu ya ahab lakini ahab aliposikia akaingia kwa repentance na mungu akasema kwamba okay yale maovu nilikuwa nimepanga kwa ahab nitaiondoa kwa sababu nimeona jinsi ambavyo ameingia katika toba toba inasababishaga watu waepuke ghadhabu ambazo ziko mbele yao iwe zimechorwa na shetani iwe zimechorwa na mungu iwe zimechorwa na watu anything ambayo imechorwa kinyume na wewe inaweza unaweza kuepuka kama watu mungu anasema yeye mwenyewe nimepanga maovu lakini mkitubu kile ambacho nilikuwa nimepanga nitapangua huyo ni Mungu mwenyewe anasema hivyo if repentance inaweza badilisha eh, kadhabu ya Mungu basi hata kila wanadamu na shetani wamepanga na mapepo leo tunaenda kukiepuka na tunaingia kwa repentance and the last one repentance help us to build a new foundation a new foundation a new foundations of our life so kwa hivyo when you repent you are building a foundation and na, na Ezekiel inasema vizuri Ezekiel anatoa uh, katika Ezekiel 18:30 inasema that uh, can we see that being the last scripture therefore i will judge you o house of israel everyone according to his way says the lord repent and turn away all your transgression so that the iniquity will not be on will not be your ruin sasa mungu anasema ya kwamba nyinyi tubuni bwana wa Israeli ili ile maovu yenu isiwe kuangamia kwa, 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 kwa kuangamia kwenu you not be destroyed so kwa hivyo tunaona ya kwamba and then god continue anapoendelea pale then he says an, anasema vizuri asema ya kwamba i'll put i'll put a new spirit in them a new heart in their life nitawaumbia moyo mpya there is repentance that will cause god to create a new heart in our life david pia anaisema that ya kwamba ye mungu amuumbie aliomba kasema nimeishi katika dhambi nimeishi na foundation mbaya kule nimetoka but create within me a new heart a concrete heart a heart that can humble and repent before the lord create within me a new heart and so he says in isaiah i'll create a new heart for them nitawaumbia in other words i'll put a new foundation in their life because they have repented they have repented i'll put a new foundation brother every time you repent unakuta kwamba umepatia mungu nafasi ya kuweza kukupatia msingi mwingine unaweza kujenga kutoka hapo kama yale magorofo ulikuwa umejenga hayakusimama sababu msingi ulikuwa mbaya lakini toba inawekaga msingi mwingine katika maisha ya mtu 
ndio unaweza kuta mtu ya kwamba leo alikuwa amekataliwa leo alikuwa hawezi kufanya kitu yoyote lakini kesho nakuta anakubalika na anafanya mambo makubwa kwa sababu kuna msingi mwingine ameweka na ni umewekwa katika toba Nunasema ni huyu kweli anaendelea ni kwa sababu aliingia katika toba na Mungu anaanza kumtumia na anaanza kufanya mambo ambao hangiaweza kufanya kwa sababu Mungu ameweka msingi mwingine na mwanzo mwingine katika maisha yake unakuta kwamba ameanza tena katika maisha yake you can start again in your marriage by the virtue of entering into repentance na kuambia Mungu I sinned against you nilitoka katika mpango uliyekuwa nayo uliponipatia mke because God had a plan with your marriage but the moment uli asi mpango huo ukaweza kuondoka sasa Bwana nimeingia kwa toba ni rejeshe katika ile mpango ulikuwa nayo wa kwanza wacha maisha yangu ikuwe kama vile Bwana alivyotaka and from there una kuta kwamba sasa kile Mungu alitaka uende nacho the favor the breakthrough in your life inaanza kuwako unaanza kuwa sasa mtu ambao unafanya mambo katika njia zilizo tofauti kwa sababu neema hiyo ya Mungu imewekwa katika maisha yako wote walie tubu kama kina jona waliweza kusimama tena na jona kapita ninawi sasa sio kama yule mtu alikuwa na anahofia ana maisha yake italengo itasiagwa sasa ni mtu ambao ako katika position yake is a prophet of god na anatabiri na anasema ni nawi mutubu ama mungu atawangamiza sasa anakuwa ni msaada kwa ile taifa kwa sababu amerudi katika nafasi yake mwana mpotevu akawa mtu wa kuangalia mali ya baba yake na kusupervise watu wakatoka kwa kula na nguruwe kwa sababu aliingia kwa toba si usimame uambie bwana leo niko hapa ninaingia kwa toba chochote ambacho kilipangua mpango uliyekuwa nayo na dream yangu na vision yangu na ministry yangu na maisha yangu na destiny yangu na marriage yangu na maisha yangu whatever belongs to me kile ambacho kilisababisha mpango ule wa kwanza uweze kuondolewa ikiwa kuna dhambi niko mbele zako bwana ninatubu na kuomba mshamaha bwana wewe ni mwingi wa rehema wewe usiyebadilika wewe usiyoziweka dhambi za wanadamu wewe ambao ufuta na kusahau makosa ya wanadamu wewe unasema ya kwamba tuje kwako tuzemezane hata kama dhambi zetu ni kundu kama dhambi uta, kama damu utaweza kuzifuta na ziwe safi kama theruji leo tuko mbele zako baba wa Israeli maka yanda rabaporia jehova ramasika la yanda kinda rabaporia shanda maka yanda rabaporia hata kama taifa bwana si tuko mbele zako umetupa raishi bwana tuko mbele zako our god and our father may you our god Shara babo shikada maka yanda rabaporia half mache upon each and every one of us our father kama kuna makosa tulifanya Bwana wakati huo wa uchaguzi Bwana wakati huo tulipokuwa tunagochea the word kama vile tuliomba asubuhi Bwana si wewe ni mwingi wa rehema maka yanda rabaporia Jehovah ramasika la yanda we don't want to build in a faulty foundation our father that's why we repent our god and our father that's why we plead for mercy we plead for mercy maka yanda rabaporia Jehovah ramasika la yanda the plan that you had with our life our father the plan that you had with the church our father the plan that you had with the nation our father maka yanda rabaporia Jehovah ramasika la yanda kila mpango wako bwana ulioalibiwa na dhambi ulioalibiwa na dhambi leo tuko mbele zako tuko mbele zako bwana tunapoomba toba asubuhi ya jioni ya leo tukiomba bwana tutakasha bwana tusafisha bwana restore my father maka yanda rabaporia oh god as you did to the prodigal son our god and our father and you restore the plan that you had with him jehovah our god and our father we know each and every one of us the same plan can be restored in our life our father maka yanda rabaporia jehovah ramasika la yanda kinda rabaporia shanda maka yanda rabaporia jehovah ramasika la yanda the prodigal son 
akaondoleo katika mtu wa kuombaomba na mtu wa kulala na kula kwa nguruwe akafanywa mkurugenzi mkubwa kwa sababu aliingia kwa toba baba tunaomba wale ambao walikuwa reduce wale ambao dreams zao wale ambao vision zao wale ambao ministry zao wale ambao career zao zilikuwa reduce our father and your plan was changing their life our god and our father today we are before you praying our god and our father because you are the lord of mercy you are god of mercy because you are merciful our father have mercy and remember each and every one of us lord those who are suffering because they have their original plan has been destroyed over their life our father may you have mercy my father those who have lost the authority of our god because the original plan you had with them jehovah as ruler our god and our father makayanda rabaporia jehovah ramasika la yanda kinda rabaporia shanda makayanda rabaporia restore back my father the authority that has been taken away from us as a church of our father makayanda rabaporia wale tuko kwa aibu wale tuko kwa uchi wale tuko kwa uchi kwa sababu ya dhambi ikatuingiza kwa uchi dhambi katuingiza kwa aibu dhambi kasababisha tuwe watu wenye mashaka watu wa kuhurumio our god and our father because the original plan has been destroyed today we come before your lord we plead for mercy our father we plead for mercy our god makayanda rabaporia my god makayanda rabaporia our samsons our father that our deliverer our father oh god oh my father but the original plan zimeharibio wamekuwa vipofu wamekuwa wakuhurumio wanafanyishwa kazi ambazo sio ambazo ulitaka wafanye wamekuwa wakusiagia wa filistingano that was not the work you wanted them to do jehovah that was not your plan with your life of our father when the angel came to announce that a child will be born his name will be samson makayanda rabaporia jehovah ramasika la yanda when the job and the angel gave the job description of what samson would do haikuwa kwa siage ngano haikuwa kwa tembea kiwa kipofu haikuwa kwa kae kule ambacho alienda ni dhambi iliyalibu mpango aliyekuwa nayo makayanda rabaporia jehovah ramasika la ramasika la yanda wengine jioni adhuri ya leo baba tumekuwa kwa aibu katika ndoa zetu katika maisha yetu katika huduma zetu tumekaa katika mngengano na aibu wengine tumeangalika tumeonekana watu wa mashaka our god and our father that was not your will our father that was not your will our father we come jehovah as you spoke to the church in the in the revelation the church of rodicia our father rodesh our father and you told them jehovah that they may repent they may be restored they may be together with you in the throne of our father leo tunatubu baba wa israeli tukarejeshwa kama mahali yetu ya kuweza kutawala ya kuweza kutamuka ya kuweza kusema ya kuweza kufanya kama vile ulivyotaka kanisa liwe suruhu kanisa liwe na usemi kanisa liwe na ukuso kanisa liwe na uambukizo our god and our father where tumepoteza our god and our father authority my father restore oh my god as we repent before your lord restore my father the authority my father ulitaka tutembe nayo ukatuambia kwamba you be with us until the end of the time and you never forsake us our father you promise us our father that you have given us power and authority our father it is our prayer oh god whatever has messed with that power and authority my father if we see our father today we are repenting our god we are repenting before your lord we are confessing our sins before you our father that you can restore your original plan makayanda rabaporia 
Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, Kindaraba Poria Shanda, oh my God and my Father, we are confessing our sin that we may escape any disaster, our God and our Father, any evil, our God and our Father, that is schemed and planned against us, our Father. Oh God, by the virtue of repentance, we know we can escape it, our Father. Maka Yanda Rabba Poria. Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, Kindara Bapori Yashanda, Kiram Tego, Ulio Bekio Taifahili, Situna Inkia Kwatoba, Kwasababi and Dugusetu, Kwasababi Ababa Zetu, Kwasababi and Dada Zetu, Tuna Inkia Kwatoba, Tunomba Msamaha Puana, Ile Kila Wofu, Ulia Kume Choro, Kwama Ishaya Puana, Wakaweza Kutoroka, Wakakosa Kunaswa, Nam Tego, Amboy Milicia Meweka, Maka Yanda Rabba Puri. Tunaingia kwa toba kwa niaba taifa yetu kila mpango ambao umechoro na shetani tunatangaza ya kwamba taifa letu halitaanguka halitanashwa na mpango wa shetani maka yanda rabaporia Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, our God and our Father, we repent our God that we can escape our Father, any disaster our Father that await us, Lord, that await our nation, my God and my Father. Maka Yanda Rabapuria, Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, you have promised our Father that you build us, our Father. When we repent our God and our Father, you build us, our Father, build our nation, our Father. Build the government that is coming in, our Father. Plant it, our Father. Maka Yanda Rabapuria, Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, plant the county's government, our Father. Build them, Jehovah, that they can be a benefit to the people of this nation, our Father, that they can take the people of this nation to another level, my Father, that they can better the life of your people, my Father. Maka yanda raba poria, Jehovah rama sikala yanda, relent our Father, any evil Jehovah. Maka yanda raba poria, we repent our Father, that you may relent any evil, our God. Maka yanda raba poria, Oh, my Father, revive us again as a nation of our Father, as a family of our Father. Restore us, our Father. Whatever you wanted to do with this nation of our Father, we have a prayer today, my God and my Father. The plan you had, our Father, as a springboard of revival, let them be restored, our Father. The plan, my God and my Father. Oh, God, Sharababo Shikada, Makayanda Rabapuria, you wanted us to be a hub, oh my God, Makayanda Rabapuria, and an ecumenical hub for Africa, Jehovah. Oh God, Sharababo Shikada, for two regime of our Father, Makayanda Rabapuria, restore the former glory of our God and our Father, that this nation walked with our Father, Makayanda Rabapuria. Our God and our Father, to Nakatakua reduce, Mali and Baba to Makua reduce as beggars, our Father, as people to be pitied, our Father, to Nakata. That was not the original plan you had with our nation, our Father, my God and my Father, Makayanda Rabapuria. Oh God, this is a house of refuge, our Father, Makayanda Rabapuria. Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, those are the plan you had with us, our Father. Maka Yanda Rabaporia, restore our economy, Jehovah. Restore our economy, Jehovah, where our people have been reduced as beggars, our Father. They beg to survive, our Father. We are praying, our Father, restore us as a nation, our Father. It's because of sin, our Father, that we have been reduced, our Father, to those levels of our Father, the glory we had in our coffee of our Father, in our sugar of our Father, in our tea of our Father, Maka Yanda Rabaporia, Jehovah Rama Sikala Yanda, Kinda Rabaporia, we were a tourist hub of our Father, but now we have been reduced as beggars of our Father, Maka Yanda Rabaporia, 
Jehovah Ramasikala Yanda, we repent before your Lord. We repent before your Lord. As a nation of our Father, as a nation of our Father, we cry, Makayanda Rabaporia, Jehovah Ramasikala Yanda, Kinda Rabaporia, you are a merciful God. You are a God of mercy. You are a God of mercy, Lord. Makayanda Rabaporia, Jehovah Ramasikala Yanda, restore our nation, restore our nation of our Father. Father, the privileges we used to have our Father, Makayanda Rabaporia, the free education of our Father, that we used to have our Father, oh my God, the, the free hospital services of our Father, we used to have our Father, restore them, Jehovah, Makayanda Rabaporia, oh Ramasakada, Makayanda Rabaporia, as we repent of our Father, we pray for restoration of our Father. We pray for restoration of our Father. Kuriba shara babo sikada, kurima shakala yanda rababuria. Oh Ramashakada, He's a God of restoration. And as, as we finish and I call the praise and worship Him, can you just repent on behalf of our nation, on behalf of our nation? The Lord said, "If our nation repent." What when he, what he had decided to build that nation, he would do it. He would plant that nation. My God, go before the Lord. Tell him, Lord, forgive us as a nation. Build us as a nation, our Father. Build our economy, our Father. Build our tourism, our Father. Build our industries, our Father. Makayanda Rabaporia, Jehovah Ramasikala Yanda, O Ramashakada, Kindara Baporia Shanda, plant us, our Father, as a hub of tourism, our Father. Plant us, our Father, Makayanda Rabaporia, as an economical hub of Africa, our Father. Makayanda Rabaporia. Yes, our God and our Father, we repent, our Father, for the new government, our Father, plant it, our Father, the, the county government, our Father, plant them, Jehovah, cause them to do your will, our Father, you say, our Father, when we repent, our Father, you shall build us, you shall plant us, our Father, Makayanda Rabapuria, we shall escape disasters, our Father, Makayanda Rabapuria. Oh, Sharababo Shikara. Thank you, Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We surrender to you, Lord. Asking that you will forgive us and cleanse us by the cleansing power that is in the blood of Jesus.
Oh, that.